Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. I'm uh, president of an organization called the American Policy Center, and uh, we are a national organization, but I also live in Fauquier County, and uh, I'm a neighbor of uh, Marvin Mendez. Um, for more than 40 years, I have been actively working to help protect private property rights across the nation in the face of government overreach and overzealous environmental groups. I've seen a lot in those years, but I have never encountered a more reprehensible operation in the Piedmont Environmental Council. In Fauquier County, you can almost feel the tension and the oppression brought on by this one private group that seeks to control our county. It doesn't have to be that way. What the Banana case proves is that the current system of conservation easements doesn't work for private property owners. <coughs> While some may be satisfied with the results, others find it doesn't work for them. Perhaps they have a misunderstanding of what they were signing, or perhaps the land trust with which they are dealing is not honest. Either way, locking away in perpetuity is not practical, fair, or workable. Even the PEC admits in its documents they provided to you that resale value of the land under a conservation easement is greatly diminished from market values. Here's just a couple of recommendations that I, I want to present to you. Number one, conservation easements should not be issued in perpetuity forever. Instead, if issued at all, they should come with some form of opt-out for either party, perhaps about a, maybe a period of five years. In that amount of time, the property owner can fully test to see if it is a desirable situation for them or not. In locking away this land with conservation easements, they should not be under the jurisdiction of private organizations that are not held accountable for their actions. No property owner should ever be subjected to the harassment and outright tyranny imposed on Martha Bonetta by the Piedmont Environmental Council. No property owner has the massive war chest to match the millions controlled by the PEC, nor do the property owners have the political clout of the PEC, and nor should they have to in a free society. Above all, the main consideration under any such policy must be that private property ownership and its inherent rights not be negated or sacrificed. A property owner who wants to conserve his land should not be punished by the very program he sought to help protect it. And finally, I ask this body in its ability to thoroughly investigate the actions of the PEC and to strongly consider taking actions to help revoke its nonprofit educational status under 501c3, remove it from the official land trust status so it can't victimize any other landowners under the excuse of environmental protection. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Uh, Craig Rutter.